Okay, the last two are very special people. And, and I have a little bit of a story to go with each of these. Uh, Shankar. Uh, Shankar, uh, he didn't do his undergraduate here at UMB, but he was a graduate student. And he, he completed a master's degree in 1976, and then went on to do some interesting things. He, he co-founded a company called American <coughs> Megatrends Inc. Has anyone heard of American Megatrends Inc.? Yeah. What are they famous for? Uh, their computer BIOS is pretty ah, much. Ah, yes. Wow. Uh, and how old are you? Uh, 18. <laughs> 18. Oh, wow. I'm amazed. Um, well, well, AMI is famous for its computer BIOS. Probably any one of you who've used a computer in the last 10 years, five years, uh, when, when your computer is booting, most, most screens say uh, boot up, and, and it's there only for an instant. It says AMI BIOS. Well, that's, that's his thing. And, and there's virtually no computer that did not have that BIOS uh, in the last 35 years, 30 years, 26 years. Okay. Now, I, I, I met with Shankar not too long ago, and, I, and, and his company is still very successful and, prop, uh, and profitable right now. This is uh, 85, 95, over 25 years later, which is really difficult for, uh, for, a tech, uh, for a company that is in the technology field. How does a company survive that long and remain successful? What do you suppose he said? And I was thinking that, well, I have some transformational vision, and we have, we're really forward thinking, uh, but no, that's not what he said at all. He said that every year we think about how we can progress incrementally from year to year, but we don't avoid that. Every year we want to make a delta improvement or a shift in direction every year. And he said that when you begin to multiply that by years, the little deltas amount, by, amount to big changes. And he, his comment was, little changes along the way over time mean huge transformations to a company. Uh, so 25 years later, still a very successful 